people are finally getting their hands on this Apple Vision Pro and there are three major security things you need to know about it before you probably go out and buy one. Let's dive right into the first one. So in January of 2023, Apple released a much, much, much needed feature for iCloud accounts so that you can actually secure your iCloud account with a security key. And these are gonna protect your iCloud account even better than Apple's built-in protections that make you sign in from another device using a code. Now, the issue is the Vision Pro actually does not support iCloud accounts that utilize security keys. And you can actually see this on Mastodon, someone named Yonbox, who actually posted about many of the security issues today. Um, they say they can't even sign into their Vision Pro because it says security keys for Apple ID aren't supported on Apple Vision Pro. You can reset this Apple Vision Pro and use your iPhone or iPad to set it up without requiring the use of a security key. Otherwise, you must sign in with a different account that doesn't use security keys for Apple ID. So that's already one big thing that a lot of you need to keep in mind. This person, Yonbox, even <laughs> mentioned uh, how horrid of an experience it was signing into iCloud with their attempt because they didn't actually get in. Um, because since security keys were in use, it didn't sign them in and they didn't know the password because it's secure because they probably use a password manager. Um, and they said the font is too small in the password manager and notes and they had to copy it somewhere insecure so that they could increase the font to be able to read it. And again, they probably didn't even get in any way because they, they had security key which they didn't know was going to lock them out of their account. I have seen some people on Reddit uh, who had the same issues and I did see a couple people mention that they just set up a new Apple account just for the purposes of the Apple Vision Pro. Um, some people also reverted away um, from the hardware key altogether and went back to the traditional system. The only thing that's a little bit unclear is it says you can reset this Apple Vision Pro and use your iPhone or iPad to set it up without requiring the use of a security key. Now, regardless of the possible workarounds that may exist, the fact that you have to spend several thousand dollars just to find out whether or not you can log into your normal Apple account is kind of ridiculous and nowhere in Apple's documentation do they they even discuss the Vision Pro, so I would at least like them to acknowledge this in their documentation so people like me can even decide if this is something they can purchase with their current Apple configuration. And this ties into issue number two, which is there is no way to actually utilize security keys natively on the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, what this means is if you're somebody like me who uses YubiKeys and other type of hardware security keys in order to log into external websites, for example, Google has the Google Advanced Protection Program. And, and this program requires you to use security keys for the maximum amount of security on your Google accounts. But it's not just Google. Um, lots of services now are starting to support this, even more popular ones that many of you probably use uh, right now. I've made videos talking about why I prefer security keys and why they are generally a lot more secure than using something like TOTP. And the main reason for that, if you don't want to watch the video, though I do recommend watching that and I'll leave a card for that there, is essentially uh, I actually find them to be more convenient unless you're getting an Apple Vision Pro. And also they are more secure because they can't be fished. Um, it is only tied to a specific website. And if you go to a fake website, the security key won't work. So someone can't send you to the wrong google.com and make you sign in with a fake code and then log into the actual google.com with your fake code in the 30 second window. So again, uh, just to really reiterate this, and I didn't really make this super clear, web authentication, which is essentially how security keys work on websites, is not supported on the Apple Vision Pro. So if you try to log in to something like Google or any other account that you use with a security key inside of Safari on the Vision Pro, um, you're going to have some issues. Now, one thing they did do is you can use pass keys on Apple Vision Pro, but I assume in the context of within the Apple ecosystem, which I don't actually fully suggest people do because then you're locked in Apple's ecosystem of pass keys instead of having your own pass keys tied to something like a YubiKey. With that said, if you do use Apple's pass keys within iCloud, then you should be able to sign in on your Vision Pro into some of your accounts. This is even being talked about right now on the 1Password forum, where someone's saying uh, no two-factor authentication slash security key. And they even said, as far as they know, the Vision Pro doesn't support a way to use security keys, but they don't have one themselves, so they can't confirm personally. Um, this is the kind of thing that's really unfortunate, though, because uh, a lot of users who probably want to pick up a Vision Pro are users who probably care about security at the moment, especially if they're doing a lot of coverage for things like YouTube or blogs um, and businesses who want to test these out and developers. And so if they're not supporting these basic security features, which in 2024 are kind of staples for people who are really valuing their security. It's a little unfortunate for Apple not to support that crowd very well. And the third security thing you need to be aware of is there is no lockdown mode. Now I've covered lockdown mode a ton here. It's one of my favorite things that Apple's done in a long time. And check out that card there as well if you wanna learn about lockdown mode. But essentially lockdown mode, as it sounds like, really locks down 
uh, your different Apple devices to make them a little bit more secure against things like even state-sponsored attacks. Like, yes, this has actually fought off governments, which is really freaking crazy um, because all it is is a toggle in your settings. So uh, you flip on a toggle and now you're a much more secure on your Apple device. Um, and you might be thinking it's weird to have that option on the Vision Pro. What's, what's the issue here? Well, the issue here is that Apple devices are very synchronized into the Apple ecosystem. And this is why Lockdown Mode wasn't just released for the iPhone, but it was also released for the MacBook, for the iPad, and yes, even the Apple Watch. So you can enable Lockdown Mode on your Apple Watch, which now means that the Apple Vision Pro is really the only core Apple device uh, that runs a major operating system that doesn't have Lockdown Mode. Um, so this, again, is kind of a big deal for people who really value security. And so if you're somebody who really wants to take their security seriously, uh, Vision Pro definitely has uh, some way to go here. But again, this is a very experimental device. Uh, I would say most people are not thinking that this is ready for prime time in any way, shape, or form. And also, uh, I don't think that this is going to be a permanent thing. I already hear people saying this is an intentional thing, this is blah, blah, blah. I really think that it's just an unpolished product, and Apple has not got that far yet, and it's not their priority. So just to summarize all of this, if you're somebody listening and you're thinking about picking up a Vision Pro to start using as your main desktop or something because you think that's a good idea, despite it being a brand new product, that no one seems to think is ready for prime time, uh, maybe hold off, especially if you're somebody who uses security keys and uh, you're somebody who needs lockdown mode for the situation you're in. Um, and if that's not you and you're not using any of these things, then sure, you're going to be unimpacted. But I think it still speaks to how unpolished this product is and how, sure, go for it if you're an enthusiast. I think go off, have fun, enjoy it. Uh, but definitely keep in mind that I, I don't think that Apple's even intending this to be used uh, by the mainstream audience yet, especially for people who again, really need to take their security seriously. Anyway, that's it. Just a quick video. I hope you all found this useful or not, but either way, um, definitely something to keep an eye on and definitely uh, probably put some healthy pressure on Apple uh, to get this stuff rolled out because they are kind of, you know, bare basic requirements at this point. And we'll see you next time on TechLore.